This is my slightly modified 2023 Sauron Lite BX. It's got a 60 volt 38 amp hour battery. It boasts a top speed of 45 to 50 mile an hour and will do 50 miles off a single charge. And in this video, I'm going to be running over some pros and some cons as to whether you should buy the Sauron Lite BX in 2023 onwards. Let's get into the video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and stick around to the end of the video so you can get all the pros and the cons and make your own decision on whether you would buy this. So we're going to start this video off with some of the negatives as to why you shouldn't buy the Sauron Light BX specifically. So the first thing I want to talk about really is the reputation of the bike and the name it sort of got for itself. As the Sauron gets more and more popular, mainly in America and especially getting more popular over here in the UK, it's building up a bad reputation, mainly with the people riding it and how they associate themselves with the bike, where you're riding it, what you're doing whilst riding the bike. It is really starting to build up a poor name for people who wouldn't so much be into the electric bike scene or the dirt bike scene or even the biking scene in general mountain bikes jump bike is really starting to get a name for itself as something used by antisocial youths so for this reason police might target this bike if they sort of stop you when you're riding it the police might target you and give you a harsher punishment specifically because it's a Sauron and what people who ride Sauron's are associated with personally I don't think we should stereotype things like that but obviously this is not the way that others are gonna see it especially when they don't ride the bikes or don't care for the people riding the bike and if the people riding the bikes don't care for the other people who aren't riding then it's going to keep building a bad reputation and we're going to keep getting a bad name for riding this specifically sir on bike this grass is so long I was literally in this field like a week or two ago and this grass was nowhere near this long. It has grown like crazy since I was last here. And that brings us on to con number two is the size of the bike. For some of the adult riders and the people who are maybe six foot and over, this bike is going to feel considerably small compared to an actual dirt bike or even a bigger wheel mountain bike that you might ride. For certain people out there, you are going to be wanting to look for a bigger bike, even though there's upgrades available like the seat riser kit riser handlebars, lowered foot peg brackets, it's still more price on the bike when you've already paid a heavy whack for it in the first place. Moving on to the third negative point as to why you might not want to buy a Sauron Light BX specifically is the power or the speed that comes on the stock bike. When you're spending roughly £4,000 or $4,000 on a Sauron Light BX you might expect it to come with a bit more of a top speed than 50 mile an hour or have a lot more torque and power and basically perform quite a bit better than you'd actually think. And although these bikes are powerful and torquey machines and once you ride it you do feel Feel like 50 mile an hour is definitely quick enough for something like this on a place like this where I'm riding today you might just think that it's just not quite enough for what you're looking for or what you've paid for. For me when I first got my Sauron it seemed like the power was plenty enough and it actually really impressed me but the more I ride it the more power I want the more torque I want and this seems to be the same with everyone else who tends to get a Sauron they just instantly want to upgrade it to have more all the time. I feel like it can never go quick enough or never be powerful enough. Leading on to con number four, and I've mentioned this in a lot of my previous videos, like the five things I hate about the Sauron video, and that is the price of the bike itself, the affordability of the bike. You might think when you buy a Sauron that it might not be worth the £4,695 or whatever they are brand new. You might think that it's overpriced for what it is. In reality, for what you pay for a brand new Sauron, you could definitely go and buy a second-hand motocross bike that will provide you with just as much fun, if not more. You can go and buy a pretty smart second-hand car for the same sort of money so when you go and spend that initial money on the bike you might think well it's pretty much just not worth four and a half thousand pounds but with that being said price is going to be something else that we touch on later in the video for the pros so make sure you keep watching to find out what we say about it and so finally for point number five for the cons list is going to be the other options available on the market other than the Sauron Light BX and so for a start you've got the Sauron Ultra B and you've got the Sauron Storm B the older brothers of the Sauron Light BX. From the reviews that I've seen, people say that they would hands down pick the big brother of the Sauron Light BX over the Light BX any day of the week. But with that, obviously, comes more price to the bike itself. You've got other competitors on the market, such as the Talaria, which have just brought out their Sting R, which has hands down received some of the best reviews on the electric bikes that have been released in this category. So many people say that straight out of the box, it will piss all over the Sauron Light BX. And from the reviews I've heard, it comes with a lot more power than the stock Sauron Light BX will. Then new to the market, you've got the Solar Eclipse, 
which stock comes with a 72 volt battery both speeds of 60 mile an hour can be made road legal or be ridden off-road easily and definitely comes faster than the Sauron Light BX however I definitely recommend looking at each bike very specifically and seeing what would suit your needs more but for me personally the Sauron Light BX has everything that I'd need for the riding style that I'd want so it's definitely worth looking into what riding style you're going to be riding so now we're going to move on to the pros the good reasons why you would want to buy a Sauron Light BX and why these bikes should still be relevant in this year the first thing I want to talk about to do with the bike is the lightness the versatility of the bike the maneuverability of the bike the fact that it's not a great big beefy bike like the Ultra B or like the Storm B the fact that you literally can rip it around little tracks like this and not really get much attention if I was on a much bigger bike than this then people may give me a lot more hassle and they'd probably look at you as more of a motocross rider and think why the hell is he riding on a track like this because the Light B looks so much like a push bike but just without pedals and literally with a battery and a throttle it's so much more accepted in the more public places that you would want to ride it even on the solar eclipse it looks so much more like a motorbike than the Sauron Light BX does itself especially coming with indicators a headlight a proper tail light with a brake light it looks so much more ready for the road than the Sauron Light BX does and then speaking more about how easy the bike is to maneuver you could pick it up and chuck it in the back of a van so easily or even in the back of a car and then the agility of the bike is just insane because it's so light you can literally throw it around like a slightly heavier mountain bike you'll have very little problems throwing it around trails the turning circle on this bike specifically is insane you've got such a good turning circle and just overall the bike is what it says on the tin it is a light bx it is a light bike so then moving on to the positive side number two is going to be the upgrades that you can actually do to the Suron and the upgrades that are already so readily available online for the Suron light bx one of the main reasons i chose this bike was there's already so many upgrades available to choose from whether that be the battery and controller whether it be handlebars whether it be foot pegs forks even the brakes because they don't use proper motorcycle brakes they use mountain bike brakes there's already so much on the market there will literally be a bolt off bolt on job you can literally swap and change so easily you definitely won't be stuck with options as to what to buy even things like the key cover that i've got down on my bike they make it in all different colors in metal in plastic it's all reasonably priced you're not going to be overpaying for stuff because it's literally brand new to the market there's already different versions of it most of it has already been made manufactured and is ready on the internet for you to buy with there being so much variety you've obviously got different price ranges of upgrades so if you want to make your Sauron light be the most expensive badass looking bike out there you can literally spend thousands on upgrades the branded parts for Sauron's literally range from top of the range Fox part to bottom of the range Amazon parts there's a company I found on Amazon that do amazingly priced parts and they're actually pretty decent I think they're under JFG racing on Amazon everything is fairly reasonably priced for what it is I'm even rocking their foot pegs and peg bracket right now pretty sure my headlight is from there the price range and the parts list is literally endless already available for the Sauron Light BX <laughs> So moving us on to the third thing on the pros for the Sauron Light BX 2023 and like I said in the last lot of points in the cons about the price I said I was going to be mentioning it in the pros well the price can actually be a pro and because the Sauron Light BX has been around for a number of years now it's more likely that you're actually going to find one at more of a discount price but second hand somewhere on the internet like Facebook Marketplace, eBay or even on a Facebook group where someone is selling their Sauron Light BX and just wants rid of it with all the newer options coming out people are selling their Saurons because they're bored of the Sauron by now and want to go for something new so therefore they're trying to get rid of the Sauron as quick as possible giving you the chance to go and buy yourself a Sauron at a discounted price yes it's going to be second hand it's going to have miles on it it's going to have wear and tear that you're then going to have to sort out but the chances of you getting a bargain on the actual bike itself is a lot greater now than it would have been a year or two ago when there wasn't the other options available on the market and when people's Saurons were more new and hadn't had as many miles or as much use on it with that being said there's a lot more second hand parts available on the market already so if your motor or controller happens to go and you don't have warranty the chances of you getting one cheaper online that's already used is now greater as well if you were looking to buy a second second battery for the bike if you're out on a big ride or you want to use the bike all day long without having to recharge buying a second hand battery is now going to be a lot cheaper than it would have been a year or two ago because people are selling their second hand batteries for a lot cheaper of a price there's also people doing more upgrades to their Sauron's now than ever so they're also selling their older parts at a more discount price to get some money back for the new parts that they bought therefore making everything cheaper on the market for the Sauron like BX <laughs> So the next thing I want to talk about 
on the pros list is the reliability of the bike itself. I've literally just hit over 600 miles on my Suron and I've never had any major issues. The only maintenance I've actually had to do to the bike is the maintenance that everyone will have to do to the bike, which is things like lubing the chain, keeping it clean, checking over for the bolts, making sure everything's tight. But when it comes to actually riding the bike and how far you want to ride it, you'll have faith that the motor and the controller and the battery and everything is going to last while you're riding. There are people out there that have done thousands of miles on their Suron without any major issues. I'm going to mention the Suronster right now because I know for a fact he's had his first Suron for a while. And yes, he's done many upgrades, including the controller, including the motor. He's actually claimed himself that he's never had any major issues with the Suron and how far it will go. It is proven by the amount of people that have owned Surons and continue to ride them without any major issues that it is a reliable bike. These other bikes on the market that haven't been around for a very long time, they haven't got the backup evidence that they're actually reliable. A lot of these bikes that have just been released could cut six months down the line and a lot of the parts could start breaking 10 times worse than the Surons. The motors could burn out a lot quicker. The batteries could go flat and die a lot quicker after so much use. But you know when buying a Suron like BX specifically because of the amount of time it's been out, you're not going to have many major issues and if you do you're a very unlucky person. So the last point on the pros list I'm going to make for the Suron and that's going to be point number five, the final one and that is that the Suron Light BX really is a one of a kind bike. Yes there's other options out there on the market, yes there's other bikes you can choose from, yes there's better options when it comes to dirt bikes, mountain bikes, electric bikes, there's nothing that will truly compete with the Suron Light BX itself. With the power and the torque the bike has got it's just an absolute wheelie machine, even stock you won't struggle to pull wheelies on it. The bike overall is just endless fun, even riding around a massive field like this you will have hours of entertainment just ripping the throttle, gaining some speed and enjoying yourself. I really do think it would be hard to find a bike so versatile, so in the middle of everything, so much like a mountain bike but with the power of an actual motorbike. A bike that's so small and manoeuvrable yet so quick and so torquey. Looks wise personally I think it's one of the best looking bikes out on the market. I think the Talaria looks cool but the Suron still looks way cooler than the Talaria. I think the other options again look way too much like an actual motorbike for me. I do like the look of the Suron Ultra B and the Storm B they're moving it up to another level where it falls more in the category of an actual dirt bike rather than an electric bike. I know in this video I've been calling it both an electric dirt bike and an electric bike but truth be told it is so in between it is actually hard to decide whether it is a dirt bike or whether it is just like an electric mountain bike with no pedals and a throttle. This bike really does fall into its own category. I think it's so hard to compete with just because of how in the middle it is and how well they've really done making the Suron Light BX. The only change they've made in the past four years really to the bike is different colours and a slightly bigger battery and like I mentioned there's so many parts so many upgrades you can do to the bike yes people get bored of it but it really would be hard to get bored of the bike when there's so much available to do on it they've now got so many different controllers out they've got different motors out the options to build your Suron is literally endless so for me making it worth still buying in 2023 I feel like the only thing Suron could do in the future to keep up with the competition is completely remodel the Light BX and the chances are I can't see them doing it this year unless we get a surprise right at the end of the year so buying the Light BX depending on what style of riding you're looking for is still going to be a good purchase especially in 2023 so with everything being said that now pretty much concludes my video on whether it's still worth buying the Suron Light BX specifically in 2023. I'm hoping to see a lot more cool stuff in the future on the Suron Light B. Hopefully they don't just focus too much on the Ultra B or the Storm B now. It's been interesting to see what the competitors bring to the table and it'll be interesting to see what Suron do with the Light BX in the future to compete with that. But until then, this bike hands down still has its place. Hopefully this has helped you make your mind up a bit on whether you're going to go for the Light B or you're going to go for a different Suron or whether you're going to buy a completely different bike altogether. All I recommend is you do your research, look at some videos, look online and try and buy the bike that is suited for your riding needs. The Suron Light BX was definitely top of the list for me. So with all that being said, that brings us to the end of this video. If you've got an opinion yourself on the Suron Light BX or any of the other bikes, make sure you leave it in the comments down below. Comment on whether you'd still buy a Suron Light BX. Let me know what you thought of this video and whether I should do more in the future touching on the Suron compared to other bikes. If you've liked this video, make sure you leave a like so YouTube knows you've liked watching my videos. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more from me in the future. Going to be loads more content coming this year throughout the summer and hopefully into the winter so until the next video i've been matt francis this has been the 2023 suron i'm signing out peace